Kehilok, uh, it's great to see and acknowledge the Palestinian flag flying over Dublin City Council for the month of May. And I want to, I want to begin by congratulating the councillors of all parties and none who have undertaken this exercise to ensure that recognition is given to the Palestinian people. Lord knows it couldn't come at a better time given that there are currently 1,500 Palestinian prisoners on hunger strike. And why are they on hunger strike? Because they want the right to make a phone call. Because they want the right to see their family once every two months. And even these basic rights of dignity and respect are denied them by the apartheid Israeli state. What a shame then, Gehirlok, at the same time that our government decided to buy a fleet of high-powered spy drones at a cost of 1.9 million from the Israeli uh, companies. And I have to say, this is part of 14 million of expenditure by our government from an apartheid state. Apparently, the Defence Forces have defended the purchase on grounds of cost. And I have to ask, have your government thrown morality out of the window? Is it okay now to buy military equipment from an apartheid state that practices torture and murder as a daily exercise? One of my colleagues has just come back from Hebron and witnessed people at first hand being brutalised. Why? Because they had the temerity to try and plant olive trees on their own land. Every time I raise the issue of apartheid Israel, there's an awkward silence from the Fine Gael benches. And I have to say it's not good enough. Either stand up and tell us why you think it's okay to support apartheid, or else acknowledge it's wrong. It is apartheid, Minister, be very, uh, my colleague, and be very clear on that. It's very clear on that. Anyone, certainly, anyone who has been to please, occupy please. Palestine knows that it's an apartheid state. How would you define apartheid if it's not apartheid? Please. Your time is more up. Please, please send an answer. Uh, please, no, please, no interruptions. Uh, uh, respect the chair. Kehirok, I, I want to finish by calling on the Minister for Defence to come in and debate this issue. It is an absolute shameful act of this government to buy military equipment from the apartheid state of Israel, and it's time someone had the backbone in your party to stand up and make them stop. Thank you. Senator Norris.